You ever wonder at what range you should zero your air rifle at? Uh, there are a couple things you know that affect the, the trajectory of an air rifle, and that's pellet weight and feet per second. So I'm going to cover that in this little short video, and I'll show you how I do it. And it may be the right way, might not be, but it's the way I do it. So let's go. Um, I use chair gun as a ballistic calculator. Okay, uh, two things that affect your trajectory are pellet weight, which is 7.9 grains in this example, and feet per second, which is 925 feet per second. Okay, you can see in this little example, I have zero to 25 yards, and I'm going to show you why I'm starting at 25 yards right here with a little graph. Here's a graph of my trajectory at um, zero to 25 yards, shooting 925 feet per second. As you can see, the apex of my trajectory is at 25 yards. If I move my zero out to 30 yards, uh, you can see here now that I have, uh, it's dead on at 20 yards and dead on at, tw at 30 yards, but at uh, 25 yards, your impact is actually higher than the crosshair. I have a primary zero and a secondary zero, rather. And right here's the 35 yard example. What I'm looking for is uh, a good usable zero that uh, I can pretty much hold dead on at, to my effective range of my rifle, which is, you know, uh, in our rifle, my effective range is probably 35 yards, realistically 40 uh, for, you know, just pests and things like that. Another thing I take into consideration is my kinetic energy. Uh, 10 pounds is about the lowest I'd go in a hunting situation. So I can look at my uh, graph here and see that I have 10 pounds and almost exactly at 35 yards. Now I've chosen 32 yards as my happy medium on my zero. And if you look at this chart at 15 yards, it's, it's going to shoot 0.17 low, which is less than 3 sixteenths of an inch. And out again at uh, 36 yards, it's 0.19 low, which is still right within 3 sixteenths of an inch. So in between those two distances, I'm not lower than, than those two low numbers. So I have an effective range as far as my zero goes from 14 or 15 to 36 yards. And here's what my trajectory looks like on the graph. And here's the chart that shows my velocity and the foot-pounds of energy and time to target and all that. And let's see. Uh, at my zero, 32 yards is 768 feet per second, 10.35 foot-pounds of energy. Okay, guys, this has been how I decide at what distance to zero my scope to get the most out of it. I hope this has helped you all. And Maybe it'll help you decide how to zero yours, too. All right, like, share, and subscribe. See y'all.